happy Friday. I hope that you have had an exciting one as I have. I almost missed my granddaughter's. Uh, it, it's not her kindergarten graduation. It was her uh, preschool graduation. And it was so cute. They put on such a ceremony. Actually, I went live. I did not turn my phone the right direction to begin with. And YouTube forces me to stay with whatever my first move was. And that's not good. I am a female. I do need the right to change my mind, you know? It's just... It's natural. Anyway, I am very excited. Angel got more Pedialyte email. Thanks very much. The, the box, um, it had no shipping information. And I know there's a couple people that has told me that they have sent it. So if you got confirmation that it, that it was yours today, thank you very much. She goes through. She easily does a bottle a day. And it's, I go on and give it to her because it keeps her hydrated. This is the most hydrated that she has been in a long time. I know it's probably, you know, I don't know. There, there's other things, but the other things she does not consume. So if I'm not getting it into her, it's the same as not doing it. So God bless you. This is just awesome. And you have no idea. It's like the perfect gift. Thanks so much. And it was also sent, I could see from Amazon Smile. I did have that sticker around it. Thank you very much. I hope that you chose Mystic Land as your charity, uh, you know, to, for them to help. Okay, I wanted to get back to, I, I didn't get to finish last night. It was crazy how fast 10 minutes went. So, I told you a little bit about Angel. And, and you know, yeah, we're talking about you. She, she knows her name, obviously. She's not happy about being in the cave. She's, as a matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't see her back there trying to escape at times. Um, she's She can't be trusted, but she's also smart enough to know I'm sitting here even though my back's to her. And she, the, the hardest thing around here is trying to outsmart the monkeys. They check you every single time. Every single time. If I leave her lock unlocked, and the locks I got on it, really, those are slow her down locks. If you're going to hold a monkey, it has to be master lock and key. You know, that's just a rule of thumb because they got them and they use them. And it's, it's, I think that's what really amazes me about them is, is just being with them and things. Yeah, I'm talking about you. The things that they can do, they do everything that we do. And they watch us. And they're, they're learning the whole time. And they're smart enough, like I said, to wait and use it against you as soon as your back is turned. So, you know, other primate owners, they know what I'm talking about with this. They are, they're, they're just beyond incredible, you know. Anyway, back to the rest of the family. I mentioned Junior G. He was a monkey that also came from the same farm that Angel came from. Um, whenever I talk, I called them to get some formula for Angel. And um, they had, they was telling me a story about this baby boy that they had. And that he was, he was 30 days old. And I don't know, I just couldn't stand the thought. They said that they had him on a uh, stuffed animal. And it just drove me nuts thinking of him not having somebody to hold on to because Angel wouldn't, she became like, almost like a wart or something on my shoulder, you know. I, I just couldn't imagine at this infant not being able to hold on to him, you know, especially at night or something. And how scary that would be for him. So... Anyway, that's how we ended up with Junior G. You know, I ended up going up there, and he was, he was so zigzag angel. I mean, she is very chilled. She, I mean, she makes you think that that all monkeys are like this. I don't know. And maybe it was because, I mean, 30 days is a long time to not have that holding on bond to something so maybe I I don't know Bugs has got I think it's in there <laughs> I, I'm going to be good because I don't even know how much I'm allowed to say on here but putting it in the female aspect I just think it's in the, the 
parts, you know, the, the middle parts. So, anyway, um, <laughs> probably shouldn't have went there. But, yeah, back to Junior D. He was all shaking the couch. He would shake the, shake everything. He was just so, I'm the man, you know. He, he wanted to rule everything. And he was just, so much bigger than her even uh he weighed more he was just and he was my boy let me tell you he didn't you know now not that he would you know it's like a puppy when puppies um interact with you and all you know the, the growling noises and all they they make these sounds that's how they talk it's that like this is how I talk to you. Humans have their way of communication. All they're doing is really talking. But he was a very boisterous monkey. He uh, that I was his mommy and everything. I mean, he would literally just smack somebody from you know, don't touch her. She just, it, it was really a neat feeling. You know, it, it's kind of a uh, honor. Uh, if you, I don't know, as weird as it is, I've been called a lot of course, whatever, but. He was so much fun. He would, Junior G, he would, he would crawl where he loved to ride at. He'd go down my shirt and he'd come back up and he'd lock his arm outside of my, and he'd just ride around like that. He'd just hang out my shirt. He was just, he was just so cool. You had to, you had to know him to understand. He was just, he, and then once that he got too big, I tell you, you don't know what a mess. And so you come home to the monkeys breaking in the house. And at this time, it was just Angel and Junior G that I'm talking about. And my door lock wasn't good. I, it was a very old home. It's the home that the tornado took. It, it was a very, uh, gosh, I'm trying to, I think it was a 72 home. And it was just, it was an old mobile home. Well, Angel would turn the lock. And Junior G would swing off of the top and kick my door open. And obviously they got in there. You know, there was a few times they got in. It was bad. But, you know, when you come home to, they go through everything. I mean, and they don't even eat it. They just tear it up, you know, and it's so fun to them. And it's like, oh, and, and I don't know. But I loved him. It was worth it. And I ended up, I remember one time, it got so aggravated because you could clean and you could clean. And I had small cages. My biggest problem, my biggest thing is if you're ever going to consider getting a primate, get the caging first. Get, get Be with the animal, adult animals. Spend some time with some adults uh, like so you know what you're... I had cages. I remember screwing my cages to the floor with two by fours, you know, through this thing. I took it and I ran drywall screws to it to hold them because they could drive the cages. They could shake them anywhere they wanted to go through my living room. It was crazy. It was, uh, and I remember bungee strapping Angel and Junior G together. Oh my gosh. And then they learned to work together. They could drive it. They could steal. It, it was bad. That's that's was. They could drive. That's why it resulted in literally two by four screwing them to the ground. But before that even happened, I remember one morning waking up and just so upset because it's I can't. I couldn't keep it clean because one shake of the cage, all the food or whatever I was going to catch, their stuff at the bottom would just be everywhere. And I had a moment. I have them now and then. Quite a few of them, actually. And I ripped up all my carpet and just painted my floor. Because I decided painted floors is a lot easier to clean than my carpet, you know. But that was all because, like everything else I've done in life, got the cart in front of the horse. Look at caging and stuff. And all. I have done sit here and blabbered. There was so much other that I was going to get to, and I know that my battery life, it says, you know, suggested things on timing and stuff. So, I'm going to tune back in here and talk with you about some of, I've not even got into the rest of the misfits here, and introduce you to my family, and what makes this place so 
filled with love. This is this is this is it. So now I gotta get back here. I got one that's back here sipping on her sippy cup. I hope she can see her. That's that Mickey Mouse sippy cup cooler. She can get like. I tell you, this is the most hydrated, and you can see that she's hydrated in her eyes. When you look at Angel, she just, she looks more hydrated. I don't know this stuff. They, they should really push it a lot harder than what they do. It's, uh, it, she consumes it. it. It's no good if you can't get it in or whatever it is. So that stuff, and I taste it. It is not, just not my thing, but it is hers. Hope you guys tune in. I will see you again. If not tomorrow, the day after. Have a good one. And remember, life's too short. Good day.